Um, it's good to get uh, you know uh, first victory here at home. Um, I thought uh, the guys came out. You know, offensively came out, play, played really well, scored five of our first six possessions. Defensively started a little slow, a little bit of kind of a hangover from last week. Found their footing and did a good job down the stretch. You know, towards the end, we got a little lethargic both on offense and defense. I think you kind of saw that towards the end of the game. One of the biggest things is keeping the guys locked in. So did some really good things tonight. Um, some things we got to improve on. Uh, you know, again, we got to do a better job of some of our passing and catching completion percentage wasn't where it needs to be. Made some big plays in, in the passing game um, and, and, you know, had a couple of passing interferences on, on some wide open guys. But I thought we got a little sloppy in the passing game in, in the second half. Um, and then at the end, you kind of saw defense kind of wore down a little bit. But good thing is we played more twos than we ever have for a longer duration of time, especially in the back end. So that's good to see that we're developing that depth. We had a lot more D linemen roll in, uh, started rolling in some of the twos uh, with the offensive line early in the second and half, multiple backs had carries. So it's good to see some of that depth out there earlier in the game when the game's still, uh, you know, in question. So overall, hey, it's a win. We're excited about that. I guarantee we're going to go back tomorrow. We're going to see a lot of things that um, they're, they're going to be eye-opening that we need to get better at. The biggest thing is each week continuing to improve, continuing to get better, having the guys continue to buy in so we can continue to progress. Some coaches would love to have two running backs that are interchangeable. You have the luxury of having three complimentary backs. Can you talk about that benefit that you have as a coach? Well, when you got a guy like Lex, who you know can make big plays, I mean, you know, you just don't want to overload him. I mean, I don't know where he ended up, but I think he ended up with less than 15 carries on the night, you know, and he had a boatload of yards and a bunch of touchdowns. But, you know, we're confident in all the other guys, you know, Chuck and, you know, and Xavier. And, and there's really, to me, there's three other guys because Evan Owens is more than capable too. He's just kind of behind some really, really good guys. So um, it's a luxury that, 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 that we have and we're going to need it because if we're going to sustain for, uh, you know, a season that hopefully goes beyond uh, 12 games, then we're going to need all those guys. What did you see on video from Utah that showed that the offense was there free on the ground? Um, uh, we, uh, we planned uh, well against them. Like, the stuff that we studied about, like, the cornerbacks, how they played it run real hard. It was certain stuff that was new to me out there. Like, I didn't notice on film that, like, the safeties were played. They, they rushed to the outside. They played the outside on a couple of runs. So I was undisciplined cutting up and stuff like that. But it was, they showed us everything that we practiced and uh, everything that we went through in practice. Uh, that definitely was a big play for us and just got the guys motivated and just known what we can do with the uh, the passing game and just get everything rolling. What did you see on that play? <clears throat> uh, from watching film, I knew exactly what they were doing when they when the nickel came up and uh, I knew the routes that we had. And as soon as he came up, I knew he was going to be wide open right there. Tony, it looked like after the first couple of series that on defense, you really made an effort to really stop the uh, walk down their running attack. Did you just feel like the, the, the point you just said that basically Durham would throw the ball? Yeah, well, I mean, they, we just had to settle down on defense. I mean, early on, you know, they, their quarterback's a pretty athletic guy. I think he had over 100 yards rushing. Loxley, um, yeah, 135. Um, he's a good football player, you know. And uh, last week, you know, we went again. The guy was, you know, an elite passer, but at, you know, outside on the edge, wasn't a real threat. This guy was. Um, they ran some split zone stuff that kind of got us off track for a little bit. But once we, you know, Skip did a good job of settling those guys down, just having them lock in. Didn't tackle out there in, uh, you know, um, on the back end very well early on, but that got better as the game went on. So it's one of those deals where, hey, just settle down, settle down. We're going to be all right. And the offense was clicking, so it allowed those guys to kind of, you know, get get their wind and uh, and get back to playing good football. Honey, can you talk about the impact that T. Skip's had on the defense from years past to this year? You know, and I've said this a million times, Coach Bear made this defense better. I mean, you saw it from the time we got here to the time he left, he improved the defense. Skip came in, you know, with an older, more veteran group. He brought in a new sense of energy. He simplified things, communicated really well with these guys, got them on the right track, and I think he's kind of taken them to another level. So, um, I think Skip's done a tremendous job in the last couple of weeks. You know, again, offensively, defensively, him, me, all of us coaches, players, we all have to continue to improve and get better. But I'm so pleased with him right now, and I think he's made this program better. How important was it to carry out the, what you did the first, especially the first three quarters of USC tonight, where you, you, you know, you took control pretty early? We did. It, it was good to see us come out um, offensively, you know, and get that score right away. You know, it took us a couple of series to find our feet last week. Uh, we found a little faster, scored on five of the first six possessions, I think. Um, 
that was good to see. Again, defensively started a little slower than we did the week before, but it, you know that first half was pretty good, clean football. You know, felt really good about that. One of the biggest things we challenged our guys on is coming out in the third quarter and, and winning that quarter. You know, and defense got a turnover right away, offense scored. But after that, the disappointing thing, I thought the offense sputtered. I mean, we had a couple three and outs. I think we had a two series in a row. We had five incomplete passes that out of six snaps. You know, we just have to be more efficient. We've got to do things a little bit better because the season goes on. Competition is going to get stiffer, and we're going to have to execute at a higher level. Armani, Coach talks about it all the time about having fanatical effort. Can you talk about just the mindset of the offense after um, taking over uh, up already 31-10, uh, but needing that extra seven? It seemed like you guys kind of had that attitude with that offense or that last drive, taking that um, that 38-10 to lead heading into halftime. What did you guys want to accomplish on that last particular drive in the first half? Um, just we have to keep going. No matter who we're playing, we have to keep finishing the drives, and we have to keep putting points on the board. And just go from there and just not let up because you never know what can happen. I don't know what you guys, was the mindset just looking to run the clock out on that drive before you called that timeout? Uh, you talking about uh, yeah, the last one in the first half. Yeah, well, we, we were kind of on the, kind of in between. So we got the ball with a minute, some odd seconds left, and we wanted to see what happened on first down. And if we you know, if we got off schedule, didn't have a good play, let's just get in the halftime. You know, we're up 31. We had a pretty nice play. You know, we get, got the first first down. And once we got the first first down, we said, all right, let's go into that hurry up offense. So you know, we were pinned back in our own to 10. You know, we didn't want to do anything stupid. You know, college football is a crazy deal. I mean, these games are really long. You see it every week. Guys that have big leads and they end up losing them. The teams come back. So we don't want to have something negative. Negative happened. We felt like we had control of the game. Once we got the first down, then we went into attack mode. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks.